and here. Your SB is disconnected. One way point here, one way point somewhere more on the drink, and then a snake in front of me. <laughs> Stay subscribed to my channel, hit that little bell icon because I can tell you I'm gonna drop some really nice big surprises in end of this month and during the uh, mission while it's flying I will turn the radio off. Now there is one question that's coming to my mind and I'm sure you are all going to find this question very, very important. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shanma here. Welcome outdoor for more flight testing of Absan Zeno Mini Pro as you, all good followers, have requested. So today, first in this video, I'm going to test, uh, which is a requested test, of course, uh, if you can control uh, yaw or anything else during the drone is on RTH auto return to home and if you can control the gimbal up and down so we'll find that out and I will show you everything in this video if it is possible to do that or not the second request is to perform the waypoint flight test in more details that means give more details about uh, how to use those waypoints and probably set more waypoints also show how drawing the waypoints work rather than you know just tap 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 few waypoints and how to uh, edit the attribute of each waypoint and of course if you can yaw the quadcopter and control the gimbal during its following the waypoints so let's get to these tests in this video now this video probably is going to answer one more thing how much wins the uh, Hubsan Zeno Mini Pro can handle and I can tell you as the weather is changing and it has been uh, in weather notifications that the temperature is going to drop suddenly which it did since yesterday you can see how the winds are moving it's cloudy and you can see from the trees especially over there right over there in the corner one moment let me also show you at this side look at those trees uh, one moment I can zoom in probably with my pocket too all right so you can see how those trees are moving you can see how much wind is today oh my god <laughs> that's a lot of wind man today and one moment look at those trees over there that corner Okay. and of course also look at the chimney smoke which is like 90 degrees because if you look there at the river surface the waves and ripples these all can tell you all about the winds we have today there's a lot of wind today so i'll be able to test how much wind this quad will handle and answer that question of course in this video but before i do that i would say according to my vast and long-term experience in drones flight and as a drone flight training specialist that i used to work in dubai i would not recommend you to fly a 249 grams drone in these kind of winds these even DJI Minis, I mean, even DJI would not recommend you to fly in these kind of points. So, let's start flying and see how things go and how it handles all these winds. Okay, so everything is ready and according to device status list, online preview of album videos, image tracking, pretty videos, search term, XCCT adjustment, time-lapse photography, 48 megapixel shooting is still not available which will be coming later. So I'm still waiting for that and to test all of that stuff. Now, uh, you can see the quad in the background and all this wind. So here we go, we will take off. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All right, now I'm gonna bring the camera closer to the quad so you can see how it's tilted and trying its best to hold the position in this much winds, okay? And here, here are the motors and propellers. Look at that. This is really much more wind than this drone can handle, but I'm still willing to fly it so that everybody can see its capabilities of handling the wind and at what point it will not handle these kind of winds. So today, if it fails to handle this kind of wind, please do not blame this little poor fella flying here and is still fighting the winds. Look at that solid hold and look at how it's actually tilted. So I'm gonna stop moving and go slightly backward. It's very natural that the quad will move a lot today because of all these winds. So let's just start flying. Oh, check out my new electric scooter, people. Dual 500 watt motors, total 1000 watt, and fast. Well, 53 kilometer to be maximum. A complete review of this will be on my channel soon. Let's focus on uh, the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro though, okay? So, now I'm gonna fly it around and uh, try to shoot a video clip, okay? Let me see, it's on uh, 4K, okay? And I'm gonna record a clip, so let's just do sync. One, two, three, sync. Okay, it's recording and one two three sync nope didn't record hold on i pressed the wrong button one two three sync it's recording now and i'm gonna go higher okay and i'm gonna move this camera like this so that i can focus i mean i can add the stuff there as well and now let's go forward and see if gimbal is shaking a lot today because it's a lot of wind. Oh man, I'm worried my camera will fall off this tripod worm. So I'm gonna go closer to these trees and you can see how much wind is there. Look at those trees, the gusts coming now. Ooh, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what is my RTH altitude, that's 30 meters, and I'm going to hit return to home. And uh, yes, there's one more test I forgot. People say, what happens if you disconnect the USB? Will the drone come back or not? So I'll do that again, another test. And right now I'm going to do return to home. So I'm just going to press this button. Return to home. It's returning to home now. What was that live caption? I have no idea. So, now it's returning, and I would see if I can, you know, put the camera up and down. There you go. You have control on camera pitch. You can pitch the camera up or down. Can you yaw? No. You cannot yaw. No. Now it's turning by itself. I didn't do that. It's turning by itself. Now it will land. Now I have your control when it's landing. Okay? And I can control the camera. And I can move the drone left and right. Forward and backward. I saw a gimbal tilt just now. Okay? I saw a gimbal tilt. Probably... I tilted too much because of the wind. Okay, so it's landed and let me stop recording. Oh, live captions. Wow, look at that. There's live captions coming because I have turned off the sounds on my phone. So live captions are coming for the messages those were spoken by that pretty lady in the app, you know? So <laughs> that's, that's nice. Live captions, all right. So this is done. 
During the RTH, you have control over camera pitch, but you do not have control over yaw. When the drone is landing, you have control over yaw, left, right, forward, bottom. Uh, sorry, forward, backward. Now, I want to do this one more time. So, record. No okay. obstacle avoidance and mode. One, two, Please three, fly with six. caution. Okay, recording. I want to go, I think, again, with the wind. Just now, I went against the wind. Now I'm going to go with the wind. And I want to see when it's returning back. Can you... Oh, in that phone I have GPS in, interf, uh, environment interf, uh, interference. Okay. So I'm going to hit RTH. Return and to your home. I'm going to see if I can move it left and right during its straight flight back. So when it's going up, I can yaw. Mm -hmm, as you have seen. When it's coming back, I cannot yaw. And I cannot do forward, backward, left, right. So this is confirmed. Only I can control the gimbal during its forward flight back home. And nothing else. But if it is ascending and descending, I have control over yaw and, you know, forward, backward, left, right. So this question has been answered. Now I'm going to cancel return to home and I'm gonna stop recording hold on and now I'm gonna go at one point okay and I will disconnect the USB I'll just pull it off all right so let me just uh, give me a moment all right same corner where there's a very strong GPS interference recording video okay and recording a screen as well i'm just gonna pull the usb cable off okay oh come on usb disconnected, USB disconnected and i have nothing left no video nothing you can see that all right and quad is not returning back it's still hovering there. However, I have control over the quad. I can control it. Or I can return to home. So, that was a question that if you are flying and you are shooting videos and if you're uh, USB cables disconnect will the drone come back well it will not it will still follow your commands from your radio and because you don't have live video you better activate RTH on your radio or if you have a heart just turn off the radio it will come back <laughs> okay now while it's landing I'm just gonna connect the USB again say okay please 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 keep 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 coming hurry up hurry up oh there you are there your video is back so during the flight while the quad is coming back or if it is hovering if you manage to add or plug a new USB cable again say scenario was your USB cable become bad or something happened if you plug the new USB cable okay you will have connection back immediately and you can start you know flying or take control of your drone again uh, cancel rts and stuff like that all right so this is done let's move on to the next test as i mentioned in the beginning of the video and that is in-depth testing of waypoints so let's set some waypoints that means i'm gonna set a couple of waypoints two three four and then i'm also gonna draw a waypoint a lines and i will also set uh, point of interest for the waypoints but I will probably do it twice because I also want to test on the very first one if I can yaw the drone during the first waypoint test so here we go I am recording 
the screen okay and probably I'll just move to the side of the camera so you have more space there and I can fit that screenshot there oh sorry I came to the wrong side um, well it's okay I'm gonna show you waypoints default waypoint altitude is 30 max waypoint altitude is 500 you can only set 500 max flight route distance is 2500 it says 5000 meter but it says that you can set only 2.5 kilometer or 20, 2500 meters max mission flight radius is 5000 but it sets to 2500 default waypoint hour time is two seconds max pause time for each waypoint is 30 seconds now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set this value to 5000 okay and this value to 5000 as well because previously previously if you set any waypoint longer than 2.5 kilometer, it will not allow you to set that because it will say, you know, going and coming is 5 kilometer, but one way can only be 2.5 kilometer. However, now that I have changed it to 5,000 meters, 5 kilometer on both ends, um, I would actually go, hold on, sorry, I did the wrong one. I shouldn't record the waypoints, but... Um, bum, bum, bum. Hold on, I don't want to record the waypoints. I want to waypoint mission planning. So yes, I was saying that previously 2.5. You could, I could set only 2.5 kilometer one way, and two way was five kilometer. So now I'm gonna see if I can set a waypoint five kilometer away. So last time I flew five kilometer, which was right there at this bridge. Okay, so I'm just gonna go click on this and select here. Yes. Now I can add a waypoint five kilometer away because I changed the value maximum limit to 5,000 meters, which is 5,000 meter maximum you can do. And that means the last time I and another good fellow who is still talking to me about this waypoint thing, we were confused that you could, and we, we actually established that you could only do 2.5 kilometer and coming back five kilometer. Uh, and which was, according to that good fella, was like, could you talk to Hapsan and say, you know, uh, make it longer, make it available to do five kilometer maximum? So, yes, we did mistake last time we did make make mistake because the maximum uh, waypoint uh, distance was set to 2.5 kilometer and that is why it didn't allow you to set five kilometer away waypoint but now you can do a five kilometer away waypoint and it will go there and come back so this is established that you can you can do the waypoints five kilometer away which is the maximum so out back 10 kilometer that means I can perform long range test once again and this time I don't have to fly. I'll just set a waypoint five kilometer away and let it go and come back for the second waypoint which will be over the RC airport. Nice. So stay tuned for that video. Not today. Today is really too windy. I don't want to push this little boy there. Okay. So let's test what we are here to test and that is I'm going to set a uh, two or three waypoints so this is my RC airport all right hope you're watching it um, I'm gonna move a little bit more backward or I can just set that and put my picture smaller so I'm gonna set one waypoint uh, da, da, da. no this is draw sorry I'm gonna set one waypoint here okay and one waypoint above the drink all right and then I'm gonna draw look okay so I, I drew a curve and it's three four five okay so we have five waypoints now let me see if I click this waypoint you have one waypoint height 30 meters hour time two seconds these two options you can change so I'm gonna make it 62 meters okay Waypoint 2, 71 meter. Waypoint 3, 
30 meter, waypoint 4, 55 meter, and waypoint 6, oh sorry, waypoint 5, 58 meter. I don't know where the waypoint 5 is. If it goes to, you know, dangerously close to the poles or building, I will be able to cancel and control, okay? So, this is this. Now, I'm going to submit. Sorry, that's my video recording, screen recording. Submit, send, send successful. So, I'm just going to take off now. No obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with caution. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go, say, 29 meters altitude as you are watching it, okay? And now I'm going to start recording a video. Okay? And going to go waypoint, say done, confirm. Oh, I heard that. Man, there's a lot of wind today. A lot of wind today. Okay? So, it turned its head, but it's not going to that waypoint. Oh, no, no, it's climbing. Okay, because the first waypoint, we changed the altitude. So it's climbing to that altitude. Now it's going to that waypoint and I can yaw the gimbal up and down. So I have gimbal control, all right, people? I have gimbal control and it's on the first waypoint, which was 62 meters, I believe, and altitude. You can keep an eye on altitude readings. Now it's going to the second waypoint, which is over the drink at such in such winds. And can I yaw the quadcopter? No. I cannot yaw the quadcopter during this flight. Okay? After the third, second waypoint, it should climb to more altitude to get to the third waypoint. Okay? So in the meantime, I can only control the gimbal. Can I control the quad like left and right? No. There's no such control. I cannot do that. It's, it's doing everything all by itself. So you have no control over your roll pitch. Okay. You don't have control over that. You do have control over camera pitch. And of course, you can always go here. You have camera controls. You can stop recording the video. You can shoot pictures and stuff like that. So now it's going to the fourth waypoint. Okay and it arrived at that altitude as well let me put the camera down to see where i am and if i'm hit, going to hit any pole or not now it's going to the fifth waypoint there's no pole in front of us and that's it waypoint mission completed so this has answered your question about waypoints usage all right now i will bring it down Okay, and um, second test, I will repeat again the same kind of test, and this time I'm gonna set the waypoint slightly farther and set a, a point of interest somewhere. All right, okay, quad is right there, and my camera is almost falling because of the wind gust. I hope the camera is not recording the wind sound, and you can hear me clearly because today is a lot of wind. You're watching it, people, all this wind, and this drone is flying, doing waypoint missions successfully. So I'm just going to keep it hovering. Record the screen. Going to go to the waypoints again. Oh, no, don't record the waypoints. I don't like that record the waypoints because it wastes the battery for you to fly, record, and then do it. Mission planning. One above the drink. Second one above the drink. And third one above the RC airport. And now I'm gonna fix a point of interest, let's say right there on RC airport. Actually, I should put the point of interest to where I am. One moment. Sorry, my screen recorder is here and it's preventing me from setting the point of interest. right there focus is right in front of me okay now the first waypoint I'm just gonna make it 50 meters 
second waypoint come on okay 78 meter whatever and third waypoint 30 meters okay done and I'm gonna submit oh my screen recorder again preventing it submit send successfully done oh the flying altitude is too low so before you continue you have to have five minutes altitude so I'm just gonna set my camera forward done confirm and there goes my little baby recording video okay so it will climb up now to the certain altitude that that the first waypoint altitude is and then it will fly to that waypoint hopefully keeping the camera focused on on that you know point focus point point of interest we have set now this video file is getting bigger I'm just gonna record another one okay another video file started now the drone is going uh, backward keeping the camera on the point where I am or where I set the point of interest and it's going <laughs> flying backward to the waypoint you see that here you see this here it's flying backward it went to the first waypoint it's going to the second waypoint and now <laughs> it's flying sideways the current environment has a lot of interference to GPS please careful well I'm not flying people it's flying all by itself so Xeno Mini Pro <laughs> please be careful all right <laughs> it's flying backwards sideways keeping the camera to where I am man this looks like a very good cinematic from here I mean this much wind man I would really I feel bad flying this drone in this much wind because it's not designed for this wind but look at that people it's actually doing what you are asking it to do in this much winds and it is reliable I mean you're looking at something that is definitely Hapson you have done a good job very good job and I hope you will keep improving it and make it you know that's what I it was in my heart to say that this is gonna be the drone of 2021 I hope so let's see what DJI Mini 3 looks like and uh, Hotel Evo Mini but anyway uh, is it still flying yeah it's still flying so <laughs> it's still keeping the camera there I had to control the camera all right so it came back it came back and it actually turned way too much so okay it no it didn't if we look at that I thought I had put the waypoint on me but as you can see the waypoint is right here and that is right it is keeping an eye on that waypoint if I set the waypoint here where I am of course I will be in the camera I have 46 percent battery so I'm just gonna draw a circle like this okay and I will say submit done go baby go record the video and it's turning its head to where I am so I can control the camera it's going to the first waypoint and now it will fly backward like a crab all around keeping the camera on me hopefully as you can see right there there I am now how accurate this uh, focus is it depends on where you put that point of interest and you cannot actually do anything else about that so far it seems like it's actually doing very very good if I control the camera pitch it's actually doing very good and I don't know if you can see it I can actually see it it's over there it stops at each waypoint for two seconds it moves it's moving like in a big circle like that so seven oh sorry sixth waypoint look at that I'm still in the view man seventh waypoint eighth waypoint the wind is getting bigger and the ninth waypoint 
mission completed. Okay, stop this. Stop recording that. And <clears throat> return to home. So, I hope I have covered everything in more details about Waypoint today. I hope you can hear me and the microphone is not picking too much of, uh, you know, wind noise. Uh, still, if there is anything left about Waypoints, people, please feel free to drop me a comment or an email. And I will be more than happy to redo or perform more tests on this. Ah, wind is increasing, man. Wind is increasing. So, before I go home... I realized there, I just recall, there's one more test request. Hold on. It's right here, but yes, yes. The question was, when the quad is doing waypoints, if it disconnects from the radio, like you turn off the radio, will it continue to do the waypoints or will it return to home? So let's do it right away, for which I would like to... Uh, change the battery because battery is low okay I want to give it a full battery and a fully charged battery so this is the last test and it's still there are a lot of wins as you can see I'm going to set three waypoints once again or just draw one line and during the uh, mission while it's flying, I will turn the radio off, okay? So let's do that. Uh, record the screen. I hope I can sync it. So I'm just going to stay right here. Fifteen meters altitude, and I'm gonna set waypoints again. Give me a moment. So, da da da. Sorry. Clear this mission. Yeah, I have to zoom out so I can draw slightly above the drink. Okay. Uh, is there a way we cannot focus on one moment let me just in the waypoint mode gyro I am you uh, map okay yeah this is what I want to disable because I want to be able to move the map without it centering itself again and again so I'm gonna do one waypoint here one waypoint somewhere more on the drink and then a snake in front of me <laughs> okay <laughs> submit and done confirm here it goes I'm gonna start recording the video and when it reaches to waypoint number two I will turn off the radio Let's put the camera down to see the scary drink, what it looks like today. There's a lot of wind and a lot of ripples and waves. So it's going to the waypoint number one. Anyway, with this test today, I have proved that even such high winds, you can, you certainly, absolutely can fly your Hubson Zeno Mini Pro without worries and it actually is handling everything I can see little baby going to waypoint number two <laughs> I'm going to turn off the radio wait for it wait for it wait for it one moment and number two let it go to the snake let it turn to the snake uh, lines that I drew waypoints and it's turning, it's turning. So, sorry. Okay, I turned the radio off. 
USB disconnected, radio is off people, okay? Radio is off. And I can see the quad. And it seems like it's still following the waypoints. Otherwise, it should be coming straight back to me. Look at that. I don't know if you can... No, you cannot see it from this camera. But live video hopefully is recording and I can post the live video right here, superimpose it. And I can see it's still flying the waypoints. It's not canceling the mission. It's still flying the waypoints while I have no control here. So, I'm going to turn the radio on again. And see if I can get my, you know, controls back and telemetry data back. There you are. I am on 7th waypoint, go, going to 8th and 9th waypoint, okay? However, I see that my FPV feed is blank, uh, while the quad is still recording the video. So this is probably a bug, which, of course, Hepson is watching, and they should take care of it. So, it's coming to 8th waypoint. And mission, actually, mission completed. All right, so I'm just going to come out of the waypoints mode. I'm going to go normal mode. And, of course, I don't have live video, so I'm just going to return to home. And I'm going to stop recording the video as well. So, yes, when you turn off the radio or disconnect USB during the flight is going on, the mission waypoint is going on, it will follow the waypoint mission it will not come back and when you turn the radio on you get your telemetry live data back but you should get the live video back as well which i didn't get and uh, that is kind of bug i'm sure about that that is kind of bug which i'm gonna force uh which i'm gonna feedback not force a uh, feedback force feedback to upson and tell them to fix that and everything should be fine i believe that during waypoint when the radio is off and when we turn the radio back on, why the video feed does not turn on. So I'm just, you know, give me a moment. I'm gonna, I'm willing to test this one more time. Just give me a moment. This time I will pull the cable off, okay? So I'm gonna clear everything and I'm gonna put one waypoint, two waypoints, three waypoints four waypoints okay and I'm gonna submit okay start recording done confirm okay so as you can see now it's going climbing and going to the waypoint Okay, and when it's on the second waypoint, as once again, I will pull the USB cable from the radio. This time I will not turn off the radio because I want to confirm if it is something that has been left out in the programming because engineer couldn't thought about this scenario of someone turning the radio off during the waypoint mission or it is a bug that should be fixed, okay? I would love to feedback this thing and that is why I'm doing this test again and this time I will not turn off the radio but pull the cable. It's going to second waypoint. I believe I'm still recording the video. Yes, it is recording the video. On the second waypoint. And here. Your SP is disconnected. Okay. USB disconnected. Oh, I just now saw the caption. Please disconnect it. I don't know. Captions coming from Hubson app or, you know, my phone. So now it's going on third waypoint. As I can see it, I'm gonna plug the USB cable again. Say okay. 
And now I have live video. Okay, so this confirms it. This confirms it that this feature has been left out. The engineer probably couldn't think of it that someone will turn off the radio and turn on the radio. And this is so much. I'm going to force feedback to engineer right away today. All right? And tell him to look into it because when disconnect the USB, quad is still following the waypoints. When you disconnect the radio, quad drone still follows the waypoint mission. But in case of turning off the radio, when, when you turn the radio on, live video does, did not come back. And in terms of disconnecting the USB, live video came back. Wait a minute. I'm going to do the same test again. And this time I will turn the radio off again just to see. Just to see if, you know what I mean, if the video comes back. Was that a glitch or is something that left out from the programming? I'm going to go to waypoints again. One, two, three. Okay. Submit. Done. Confirm. Record a video. Man, in this much wins, I'm doing this. I think I'm crazy. I'm doing this, these kind of tests again and again in this much wins. Turning off the radio when it's flying over a big drink. <laughs> Man, I simply love Hubs and this Zeno Mini Pro because it's absolutely reliable. You're watching it, man. It's absolutely reliable. I'm so happy. Uh, we have a, such a reliable drone here. So, go to the second waypoint. I have live video and video is recording. The screen is recording. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm going to turn the radio off. USB disconnected. Okay. I can see the quad is still following the waypoints. Now it's coming to the third waypoint and I'm going to turn the radio on. Quad is coming to the third waypoint. Give me the notification. Say okay. And my video is back. Yes, you saw that there was some kind of uh, interference, but my video is back. So, yes, I'm still going to force feedback to Hubson Engineer. Uh, wh where is my where is my screen recording? One more. Yes, I'm still going to force feedback this to Hubson Engineer that at one time there was this glitch that I turned the radio off during the waypoint. It followed the waypoint when I turned the radio on again that live video didn't come back so i repeated this test with by pulling the usb cable and putting it back on while quad is still following the waypoints live video came back i redo the test flying the waypoints turn the radio off and quad follows the waypoint still and i turned the radio on and the live video came back so what happened i think it's worth to send the uh you know uh flight logs to engineer as well so that he can look into it last thing i know nobody asked but can you land it in hands let me show it to you Okay. FPV has been turned off. It will turn on automatically after the aircraft takes off. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it answers all the requests. And I'm very, very happy to see that, you know, these wins, they are much more than uh, recommended wins for this drone. But Hubson Zeno Mini Pro not only flew 
not only flew beautifully and right, but with precision. It did all the missions I threw at it, and I am able to answer all the questions and fulfill all the requests. Now, yes, I so much want to do the next video, and that is set a waypoint five kilometer away and let it go and come back almost maybe six kilometer away and see if it can do that trip properly or not now there is one question that's coming to my mind and I'm sure you are all gonna find this question very very important if I set two waypoints five kilometer away and back here yes obviously if quad disconnects from the radio it will go five kilometer and it will come back even if the radio is turned off or disconnected because there is a second waypoint right there okay to bring it back what if what if I set only one waypoint and once it goes to the waypoint and completes its mission and it finds that there's no signal from the radio will it come back or not now, this is a very very important question and given that I have 50% battery I'm gonna will I'm gonna try it right away now the quad is there I'm gonna go to waypoints this time I'm going to set only one waypoint. Okay? Over the river, the big drink. While wow, battery is 50%. I must be crazy, man. And once it starts going to that waypoint, I will turn off the radio. Okay? And see if it will activate RTH or stay there. Recording video. Submit. Done. Go. So as you can see from the video, it's climbing up to 30 meters altitude. It's going to the waypoint. US I <clears throat> turned the radio off. To simulate that if you are far away and your radio turns off or quad it still cannot connect to the radio. So it did it waypoint. I saw it stop there. It finished its mission. And there you go. Hobson, we gotta love you, man. It's coming back. Look at that. Let me show it to you. Hold on. I hope you can see that it came back and it's landing oh, my radios are still off so yes this was a very important question that let me stop recording here when you're flying waypoints you turn off the radio or radio disconnects because the quad is very far and once it finishes the waypoint mission and it does not find any signals from the radio will it come back or not I just turned the radio on quad has landed so will it come back or not that was a question and it came back so this has been answered that if one moment let me see in turned off okay one moment so Sorry for that, but I'm just going to repeat it one more time. The question was very important and just came to my mind that when you're flying waypoint missions, you're very far and quad disconnects from your radio. There's no signal. And we found that it will fly its mission. It will not return until it finishes its waypoint mission. And it finishes the waypoint mission and then it doesn't find the radio signals. What happens? Will it hover, land, or come back? Answer is... As you saw, it will come back home. People, we have, we have something which is very carefully programmed. 
We have a product here that I'm showing you straight, honestly here. We have a product here that's gonna be, for sure, the drone of 2021. Given that Hubson keeps improving with each update all its features, and yes, please, Hubson, this is my request to you. If you want to be a really successful company, it will not come from a very intelligent, high quality, smart drone. If you want to be a successful company, it will come from a solid and a strong customer support. And I have been told that Hubson is sending replacement drones to anyone who has issues with the drone. And that shows Hubson's commitment to become a solid customer support company a company that provides solid customer support a company who cares about customers so i would say hubson this is a very good approach and i would urge you i would i don't know i, I cannot find that word i would emphasize emphasize on this that you focus hi how are you so i would say hubson please pay extra attention to customer support make it a strong customer support because if you have a solid strong customer support it will bring the customers back to you even if you do not have a good product but a solid strong customer support customers would still come to you but if you have a very very good product something that people cannot beat and hey and you don't have a strong customer support Mm -mm, that's not gonna work out so I hope my, I made my point clear I hope that you know you all people watching would also agree thank you very much for watching this video once again if you have any more requests about Hubsun drone Z, ZMP Xeno Mini Pro please do tell me and uh, put it down in the video comments and I would love to post new videos fulfilling all those requests okay hold on oh you want to see the squad Come on. Alright people, that's more than enough and uh, I have to go home, say prayers, eat food. Yes, as, as usual I'm hungry again and of course I have to edit this video to bring it to you. And yes, I have to prepare for my job starting from tomorrow. I'm an English teacher, foreign English teacher for teaching spoken English, English as foreign language, EFL, ESL, and in, in a top school of Chujo City. So tomorrow my job is starting, it's a full-time job, but uh, I will do my best to bring you all the videos in time and fulfill all your requests in time. All right, thank you very much once again. Have fun, people. Don't forget to give this video a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel. Hit that little bell icon because I can tell you, I'm gonna drop some really nice big surprises in end of this month, next month, and the coming months. Some really cool products are coming your way. Don't wanna tell you anything more than that, so stay tuned for that. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button, right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.